go over a technique for serial casting using OrphiCast. It's a really great and versatile material that we've been using lately. It works best for PIP joint contractures less than 20 degrees. This is a little follow-up to one of our previous technique peaks on static progressive PIP joint extension splinting. So once we've used that to achieve a little more PIP joint extension, we can switch to this method. The difference here is that this stays on full time in between sessions and we usually change the cast bi-weekly to, um, to keep up with the progression of PIP joint extension. So depending on the size of the finger, we're gonna start with a strip of the material, cold, dip it in the hot water. And when you take it out, you just wanna make sure you wring out the excess water because it's quite hot and you don't wanna burn the patient. So we'll take it out, wring out that extra water. And you gotta move kinda of quickly working from the distal end of the finger, just below the DIP joint, going about half the diameter of the strip and working your way down like you're wrapping an ACE bandage. Not pulling too tightly, because we don't want to cut off circulation. And the great thing is when you get to the end, you just kind of smooth the edge into itself and it's a nice smooth cast. So at this point you can use the extra time you have while the material is setting to get your maximum PIP joint extension you can turn the palm over, check that you have clearance at the DIP joint. If not, you can kind of roll that material down a little bit. Kind of casting, you want to ensure there's plenty of motion at the DIP joint to prevent ORL stiffness. And usually it takes about a minute to, to harden. So as I mentioned before, you're usually keeping this on full time in between the changes of the cast. But if a patient does need to remove it, most of the time this cast can be slipped on and off. Um, and then if it needs to be removed urgently or if it's a little too tight for that, you can just use a pair of protective scissors um, from a suture removal kit and just kind of cut your way up the side. So this is really easy, much faster than the traditional plaster casting, makes a lot less of a mess and it's nice and smooth so it's usually comfortable for the patient. And now it's hard like a, like a regular cast and it can either be slid on and off or cut with the scissors in between cast changes. Thank you for your time.